Hey, this is Professor Dave from dragandropcode.com. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about filtering data with the tool Thunkable and building apps where you can filter data. And, you know, for a simple example, we're going to do this kind of foreign film Oscars. And on the left here, we show all the films, um, you know, for the last so many years that have, that have gotten nominated. And then sometimes you just want to show some of it, right? Like, for instance, maybe we just want to show the Spanish films and you know somehow we need to kind of filter the data from the from the database or the spreadsheet uh, to show that um, you know so so basically what what you want to do is select particular rows from a spreadsheet or a database um, you know so in there's there's a language called SQL SQL and and it looks something like this you can select all the columns that's what star means where the language equals Spanish okay or language equals whatever or the title equals whatever, right? So you can basically filter or you know select particular rows. Um, structured query language is what SQL stands for. And in most coding languages, they have an access point where you can make SQL calls. Okay, so it's like the database language that people use. Now, Thunkable uses a different method for selecting filtering. I'm going to show you that today. Uh, and and basically with Thunkable, what you do is you you set up a second spreadsheet. So you've got all your data and then you've got another spreadsheet. You loop through all the rows and use kind of regular if code um, to filter through it. And then you basically copy the ones that match into like a second spreadsheet, okay? And then that, that's what gets displayed. And I'm gonna show you how to do that uh, to, today. Um, so I'm gonna go over to, um, you know, first, first I just kind of wanna show you, you know, with the spreadsheets, what, what, what I'm talking about. And I'm gonna bring up this second sheet, right? So here's the filtered film sheet, which is blank. And really what you want your app to do is kind of walk through all these films and look at them and check the language. And then at some point it's gonna get down to say number 16 and oh yeah, that one matches, it's Spanish. And so you're gonna to wanna to copy that into this other, this other spreadsheet, right? Um, and then you'll keep going and you'll get some more Spanish ones. And then that's what you'll show to the user. But that's, that's the basic scheme. You know, I'm showing you manually with these two spreadsheets, but the basic scheme is you're gonna do it with, with your code, with your app.